dysfunctional vet. This is a wire and flat bar bender from Harbor Freight. I've had it for many years, at least six. It's a little rusted, a little beat up. That's fine. I'm in the process of taking this wire and I'm in the and I'm bending this into a approximately a 10 inch, 10 to 12 inch circle. Let me back this off some. Like so. And I'll be making a mosquito net in order to catch arthropods. I figured out that the circle that I need will have a specific radius and I'm using this little compass or divider. Both names are correct. It does hold a pencil but I didn't use a pencil. You loosen this, take it completely out, put your bar on there, adjust this to the diameter you want, tighten your little um, thumb screw, and then you can draw your circle. In my case, I drew it without uh, pencil or ink on a cardboard box, and I'm using that to size this. Now, let me show you how I did that. What I did, now this bar used to be straight. I threaded it into here, and then I take this handle, and I bring it down, and I've been bending it a little bit at a time. This is two passes and I'm very close to the size I want. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to change this for a different head and I will be bending these out a little bit and then I'll be welding them together with a piece of bar stock in here. I'll be welding these together with a piece, with a piece of bar stock. These will be bent upwards like this and then I will hook that onto a stick and sew my net onto there in order to catch insects. This is all in part to launch a new program on my channel called Small World. If you look these nets up, they are really expensive. And I don't remember what I paid for this. Say it was two bucks. And the netting that's inside this bag that I'm waving over here I think was 35 cents for a yard. So two bucks a yard and a stick. Or I can go spend about 40 bucks and buy an insect net. It's up to you. Now, you know, a lot of people have these tools and if you hunt around with your friends, especially the guys that kind of make stuff, you can probably find one of these, not have to buy it, go over, borrow it, and just, and when you bend, only bend a little bit at a time let me bend this up just a little bit. When you bend, just bend a little bit. That's all I was doing right there. You don't need to come all the way down because that will give you a 90 degree bend. But just a little bit and keep working it and then sizing it to the cardboard until you have the size you need. So the next thing will be to bend these pieces long. The way I'm counter bending this I lift up the guard, I put it in here to where I want it to bend, I put the guard back in place, and that in part is to keep it from popping out and hitting me in the face. I hold it in there with force, I lock it in using, see the piece in the back is moving, I lock it down and I hold it, and then I'm bending it by hand. until I get it fairly tight and then I'll take it to an anvil and I will pound it down the rest of the way. Now this piece right here has got to come out basically align with this and then go down. So this is where I want to be bending. So this is where I want to be bending this one right here. So it's going to go in a whole lot further. I put it in now I'm using my thumb as a spacer because I don't have a sharpie handy. Every shop should have a sharpie and I bought six of them and I don't know what I did with them. Put the guard into place. I hold this by hand. I lock this down. And I try not to lose my place, which I've done. And then I start bending. I have it bent pretty good 
in this case, I think I'm going to get a much better bend out of it. Yes. Okay, there's my bend. Like I said, I will take this over to an anvil and I'll bend it a little bit more. And then I will tie these together using a piece of wire or something just to hold it. And then I will weld it together and I'll pretty much have my loop made. Now my loop is not perfectly circular and I can live with that. That's not a big deal. You know, this is a homemade trap. It doesn't have to be perfect. But here I have my circle. And these two will be welded. And then a piece of flat stock so I can hook it onto a stick securely. And then I'll make the net that goes around it. Using a pair of fence pliers, I'm able to get this held into place. I'm about to get out the wire welder. I'll burn here. I'll burn here. I'll release the pliers off. I'll come back and I'll use a down, I'll use a weave to seal this. I'll flip it to the back, put a weave to fill that, and then I'll put my flat stock on there and get ready to attach it to a stick. I did a review of a Forney uh, wire welder. It's called an Easy Weld. And I'll try to remember to put the description in the video. Let me zoom in on this. Maybe you can see this bead. This is where I started and the ground came off, got lumpy. I reset the ground. I was going along. Look how smooth that weld is. Now this is a weave. And when I got down here, the ground came off again. And so I spot welded it. The other side, now this is where I was originally welding. This is when I first started. If you look, I had the now I started here and I'm coming up, now I spotted it here, there. And then I started welding this direction right here. But look at that weld. Look how, look at that bead. Look at, look at how incredible that is. And that's with that um, 120 welder. I believe this is 1 8 inch stock. I tore the label off and threw it away. I can check it. In fact, I'll check it now. This is 3 8 inch stock. Now again, it's not perfectly round, but it's good enough for catching bugs, and it's about 10 inches. So that means I have a lot of play as far as uh, getting my little critters in here. I'll straighten this out just a little bit more, get it a little more round, and then I'll sew the net on it. I'll show you that right now. The rod was 3 16 but this is my mosquito trapping material. I asked for something similar to what a bride would wear. You know, the face veil that they wear over their face. And I got this. This is one yard and it cost me 90 cents. So, uh, the, I paid $4.86 for the uh, metal loop that you just saw. 90 cents for this thin material in my time and I'm getting um, I forget what those things cost they're like $39 for those mosquito I mean mosquito for those insect nets and I'm building my own and I'm saving money much much more rewarding deal I'll show you the completed project when I get done the next thing is to put a piece of angle on it not angle a piece of uh, flat stock put a piece of flat stock on it so that I can hook it onto a stick and we'll go from there. I'm not holding, the, I took my gloves off and I'm not holding the metal because it's still hot from welding I'm letting it cool. With that said, Dysfunctional Vat out.